welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. I'll do all the things even before you watch the video so you don't forget. Lauren Stewart here, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> With Sean Stewart, who wishes he was not on my channel. Should we say prayer first? Yes, we should say prayer first. We are getting ready to head out to Utah, so our trick is don't be tired when you drive. Um, the kids are in the back. I saved, and they have currently have tablets. We've never done that before. Um, this is like a little bit of a new thing for them. We have to thank thank God for that later. But yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, I'm taking first shift. Yep. And we're just gonna drive. So long. Being in the car with another person that long, he out, what? I spaced out. It's like, what are we doing? You guys, you see what I need to live with and deal with all the time. We are doing. I guess I should have put a heading on here. Then you would have just been able to like pretend oh, you knew what we were doing. These are all my tips that I wrote down. You can't take these. You have to come up with your own. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be doing travel tips. Um, we just took an epic road trip. Emphasis on the word epic from here to Utah, which is like with the like, traffic and stuff, it's usually about 32 hours, even though it says it's only 30. My husband came with me, but as you can see, I will be giving you all the useful information. <laughs> I don't know, come here. Okay, if you had to give, sorry. If you had to give anyone a tip about traveling with kids, what would it be? Don't read mine, what would it really be? No, cause you actually, your brain is so genius. What? <laughs> Small bills. <laughs> Bring cash and balls on your trip. It will be a success. I thought you meant not a good enough reason to reference. Miles. Okay. So. Just ring like you're up. What? Just ring like you're up. Cash and small bills. Hang on. Okay. So the reason is there's typically tolls. Sometimes you can pay with your card. Sometimes you can't. And it's just good to just have them with you. And then um, my next, <laughs> these are so silly, but they're all necessary. Sunglasses, if you're driving a long time, you do when the sun rises and when the sun sets, so it's like right through the thing. Okay, collapsible cooler, be that, because that can be maneuvered anywhere into your car, and if someone gets car sick, they can just throw up in the cooler. Hopefully no one gets car sick. What's your tip, give me a tip. You're making fun of mine, but I don't know where to start. Look at the trucker gas stations for hats. Hey, you're fired. No, that's a good one. They have great hats. Okay. I bought three hats. This is for with kids. Not about what hats you're buying yourself all willy nilly. <laughs> you are so bad. Okay, snacks. Ma wait, 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 wait. Nope, snacks. No, hold on, hold snacks. on. Snacks. What? The Food. What? Nope. What were you saying? Well, the sunglasses. Yeah, because then I can put them on and pretend I'm sleeping and they can't talk to me. <laughs> okay, um, snacks. For snacks, this last trip, I had some really genius snacks and I really liked them. Um, the first one was cherries, because instead of spinning sunflower seeds, which I, I don't really like sunflower seeds, I don't really like sunflower seeds that much, so cherries, but it, like, it gives you something to do. And then also those little tiny white mints that come in the green bag. Um, we really like those too. Stay sweet, Lita. And then... Baked chips, water, I took notes because I have a lot of tips for you. Baked chips, lots of water, and then drinks of your preference, whether they're energy drinks or sodas or soda pops or juices or fizzies. No alcohol because that's illegal and because we don't drink. Um, although after 32 hours in the car, can maybe be tipped. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what's another, what's another tip from you? Okay, I'll go on to my next one. Okay, I have two. Tablets for kids. Yes, okay, but I think that that's most effective when your kids don't get it often. So if you need a tablet fast or electronic fast before your trip so they're really excited about it, I would recommend doing that. But our kids don't ever have like tablets or phones or anything like that. Although they tend to sneak television in the morning if I'm still sleeping, so. But we don't give our kids any of those things. So Sean got them the Amazon kid tablets. 
and we downloaded what they were gonna be able to use at the house so they weren't getting into anything while we were driving that we weren't aware of and I felt like it was like safe and worked really well for the kids. Although Lila did try to get on hers at like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> She's like, when I woke up, I need a tablet. I'm like, go back to bed. Um, uh, pillows and blankets also. So important. Okay, um, the other thing that I have on here is uh, patience, pack your patience. <laughs> I don't know if you can pack that, but you're gonna be in the car for a long time. Inevitably, someone's gonna get upset, someone's gonna have to pee, someone's gonna have to cry, there's gonna be poop, there's gonna probably be other things, so just be ready to be patient with everyone, because that could turn nasty quick if you're not ready to be patient. Okay, do you have anything else? Okay, so I have more tips for you. Clearly, I've been thinking about this. For, uh, in terms of stuff you wanna have easily accessible, you want like change of clothes for everybody, especially if you're going on a really long trip. Like we drove 32 hours, so everyone at some point was gonna need to change. You don't wanna have to get all of your suitcases out and get in everyone's bags. You want change of clothes easily accessible. Um, we travel in really comfortable clothes, and then also because we have a baby, we need all the baby stuff like so I put it like in a thing right under his seat so I can just get to it. All right, phone chargers. Okay. Is that what you were gonna say probably that next? Okay. Um, okay, my next one is a well-rested driver. So whoever has like, okay. no, I'm so serious. Wait, why is that creative? It was very creative. First driver would be me because he's already, he'd already, as you can tell, he's exhausted, and um, so I would not have him be the one that's the early driver. Like I stay up late, so I'll drive the late shift, and then he wakes up early, so he can wake up and drive the early shift. Any, any thoughts? Um, got one. What? Drive at night when the kids are sleeping. That's actually on my list. <laughs> That is on my list. That's a good one. If you leave when your kids are tired, then you have you can get as much road behind you while they're still asleep. And the car tends to put people to sleep, so then they maybe will sleep a little bit longer. Unless they poop themselves, then they wake up. Dawson. He cannot sit in a poopy diaper, which so then he just wakes up instantly like this now. If you're driving for a really long time, get a hotel. We do uh, one with a pool so the kids can go and like, get all their energy out from sitting all day. So they're already tired from traveling, but then they do need to like get their wiggles out. So something with a pool is ideal so they can stay with this one so he can just go swimming and get his energy out while I go to bed. That's what happened. That's what happened. I just went to sleep and they all went and played in the pool and I was like, shh, don't like that. We actually, oh, I also like to have like little bags in the car for trash. I use them, not everybody in my car uses them, but I use this. it does not work well if you want your wife to be happy. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is the last thing. Let's see, traveling with a one. Okay, so one-year-olds are actually my favorite age to travel with because they still sleep like babies, but they know that even if they cry, you're not gonna get them out of the car, so why cry? We actually have addressed your questions in this video so just watch it and think about your question and then hear your answer okay well thanks for tuning in thanks for being my guest and my husband and my also my furniture uh put together man okay so thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and that's kind of all so like subscribe and tell me one of the tips that you would give to your friends who are crazy enough to drive across the country with small children in their vehicle this hat is Mondo. It's from lack of color. Took a while to get here. Worth the wait. Truck stop in Wyoming. Yep. Not as cool, but. Got three of them. Chase was really upset because I made him get a cowboy hat. This was great. Okay. Let's see if we can kiss with our hats on. Hang on, go on, bro. No, it's not working. No, no, that hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louie, you can have a kiss. Oh, we did a good boy. Mm. Wait, I got a tip. Oh. <laughs> what? Kiss your wife? No, if you need to stay up, if you need to not fall asleep, you should easily. That's why I stayed awake. That's why I was talking about
cherries and chips. Guys, okay, never pay attention. All right, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Sub, subscribe, you guys. I gave up on wearing makeup, so this is what you get. Louie's been trying to be in this video the entire time. Hi, hi Louie, you be my man, you good boy, huh? And you love me, and you smile at me, and you just think I'm so great. He's a good boy, huh? He's a good boy. He missed us.